had a dealer kind of freeze on me the other day because he was processing what I had said and the concern was apparent on his face. And it was we were talking about electronic communication. Over 50-60% of the communication between the salesperson, BDC department, even the service department mm -hmm. with a consumer, prospect or a client is through electronic communication which is text and uh, uh, email. Right. And uh, for example, two of our segments in e-auto training, ERV and the Marine, e-boat e too, is about electronic communication. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a guy one time tell me, a business associate, he said, many, many years ago, he said, by the way, your emails, I won't tell you what he said, <laughs> but he said they're awful. And I said, why? He says, well, you need to break them up. Three or four sentences max, four only if they're short sentences. He said, because when I get war and peace, I'm thinking, I don't want to get started on that. Mm -hmm. you know, nothing that looks like that could be that interesting. You know, but anyway, so I break it up three or four, four max if it's short sentences. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of guidelines, cautions, and suggestions that we make in our uh, e auto training, uh, ERV and e boat, but uh, about electronic communication. Think about it. These are the things that are determined by a customer. They're always making judgments, and uh, they're determining character, integrity, professionalism intelligence, education, they're determining all that through how we communicate. When you do electronic communication, you don't have body language and tone and all that going for you where you can make sure you make your message clear mm -hmm. the way you intended on them to receive it. All you got is words. So if you'll take uh, electronic communication and just try this for about a week or two, anytime before you pull the trigger on a text or an email, look at it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that somebody hadn't put a bad word in there trying to spell check you, but, but look at it and even read it. If you'll read it, your text or email out loud before you pull the trigger, it'll tell you where to accentuate, where to put uh, uh, quotations, where to italicize, where to bold, where to underline. Mm -hmm. Remember, you don't have tone or body language working for you, but if you're smart mm -hmm. and if you take these suggestions and tips and certainly the cautions and don't make those mistakes, I believe we're going to make a lot more sales. I believe we're going to have a lot more uh, better relationship with our person because that that uh, uh, they're more apt to send somebody to somebody who has character, integrity, intelligence, and professionalism, right? Correct. And if over 50% of your communication is going to be in this manner, master the art. There you go. And get it down to art form.